There are people existing who say that in order to throw a putter hard and have it go very far, you have to throw it on a hyzer flip. It's not possible to throw a putter hard and flat and let it fly straight and then fade. Those people are wrong. Case in point, this clip. Now I said those people are wrong. Wrong might not be the right word, just everyone throws differently. And so the way they throw putters, putters fly a lot less stable. Let's talk about why. If you've watched my video on the physics behind a disc's flight, you'll know that the reason that a disc turns is because the air coming at it presses down on the nose and gyroscopic precession causes the right side to go down with that downward pressure on the nose. So the air coming at the front, the part splitting over the top is greater than the part under the bottom, roughly, enough to overcome the lift and provide a downward force. Now here look at a putter. The putter's rim is very rounded. It doesn't have as defining of a line where the air is gonna split like a driver does. Driver, it's very clear where the air is gonna split and either go over or under the disc, but on a putter, it's rounded. So, if a putter is thrown with a little more nose down angle, more air is gonna go over the top and that's going to cause it to turn. But if a putter is thrown with a little bit more nose up angle, more air is gonna go underneath and less is going over the top and that's going to cause it to fly stable. So the trick to throwing putters so that they're flat, so you can throw them flat and they fly straight and have that gentle fade at the end is to throw them with just a little bit of nose up. But Danny, I thought that nose up was bad. You've been paying attention, fantastic. So angle of attack refers to the angle of a disc as it's flying through the air, the back to front tilt. So if a disc is flying straight this way, an angle of attack at zero means it's perfectly flat. A positive angle of attack is a bad thing because then all the air is coming underneath the disc and it's gonna hit this back rim and slow it down significantly. It's also not going to be pushing down on the top at all, so you're not gonna see any turn. On a putter, especially one with a rounded edge like a warden, as you get a more positive angle of attack, more air is funneled underneath the bottom of the disc, so that's going to cause it to fly more stably, more, more stable. It's going to cause the disc to behave as though it is more stable. But if you're used to throwing drivers that are very overstable with that negative angle of attack, so the discs are actually angled slightly down, and you throw a putter the same way, that's going to funnel a lot of the air over the top, and that's going to cause it to fly much less stable, as you can see when I throw the putter like this. Now this certainly works, but it sort of limits how you can throw the putter because you're not able to trust it on that flat release. So for me, when I throw putters, I change my grip. So when I'm throwing a driver, I use a three finger power grip. Most people throw with a four finger power grip, but I don't like the way the disc releases off my pinky. That kind of causes it to hurt after a few throws. So I generally use a three finger grip and that sets the disc very nose down in my hand. But when I'm throwing a putter, Rather than that three finger power grip, I use a control grip. So I grab the disc with my pointer and my pinky finger and I fan out the other two fingers underneath the bottom of the disc. That gives me the same consistent release point off of this knuckle and it lets me hold onto the disc fairly strongly, but it sets the disc a little bit nose up. See if I use a three finger power grip, the disc is flat or maybe even a little bit nose down. But if I put my pinky on and fan out my other two fingers, the neutral angle is just a little bit nose up and that gives that putter the extra stability so I can control the angle better rather than getting the air to funnel over the top and causing it to flip every time I throw it. So if you're looking to learn how to throw putters better, I would suggest trying a different grip. Lots of people like to throw putters with a fan grip. You can throw them very far with a fan grip. I, I would definitely suggest trying this control grip. Try several different grips that maybe set the disc a little bit more nose up and try to give your putter a little bit more height and see if that helps you get the control that you need to drive with a putter effectively. That brings us to the West Side Discs Maiden. The Maiden was the putter that was released from West Side Discs as part of the Trilogy Challenge this year. Now, I think it's an understable putter, but there are people who say it's overstable. And I think I know why. 
The Maiden is a little bit faster than most putters. This is a Warden here, and you can see the Maiden has just a little bit of a narrower profile and a little bit more of a nose. Not all the way to something like a mid-range, but it's just got a little bit more more of a uh, of an edge here and what that's going to do is it's going to more consistently funnel the same proportion of air above and below so for me i'm used to throwing putters flat if i throw this disc flat the air that's funneled over the top because of the little bit of a, of a sharper rim is going to cause the disc to turn and fly to the right and then it does have some fade at the end to where it'll come back now lots of putter throwers are used to throwing with that aggressive nose angle and a hyzer release so when they throw this disc with that hyzer release, the same amount of air is going to go over the top. So it's going to cause it to flip to flat. And then it, again, it has that pretty strong fade. So it's going to fade out at the end and they'll say it's a fairly overstable throwing putter. So that's the difference. They, they, the Maiden turns the same amount, whether you throw it a little bit of nose up or nose down. And that's why people think that the Maiden is an overstable putter when I think it's an understable putter. So at the end of the day, the point of this video, if you're looking to learn how to throw putters, try throwing them with a little bit of a different grip so you can get a little bit more nose up on them and get a little bit more of a consistent flight. The nose up is not really gonna help if they're wobbling out of your hand. You generally have to fix something with your grip or your follow through, try to get some more spin on it to get rid of that off axis torque. But if you're having trouble with them flipping over without the off axis torque, try throwing them with just a little bit more nose up and see if you can gain that control. So that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe on the channel. I've been doing a couple live streams lately. I did a form check live stream and I've live streamed just hanging out watching some of my old videos. So definitely subscribe if you don't wanna miss that. And until next time, always remember slow is smooth and smooth is far.